The other guideline immediately after hikmah and beautiful exhortation that will not only appealing to people in terms of intellect or intelligence or logic, even though you know Islam emphasizes very much the use of that gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the reason. It's not there is no frowning about reason or using the mind in its proper scope. But people are not only minds or bodies, they're feeling and emotions also. So exhortation here seems to give us an indication that you should also appeal to the hearts of people, to speak in a way that touch their hearts, in your kindness, in the information you're giving, in understanding where they come from, in trying to realize that they have emotional and spiritual needs that need to be fulfilled. Sometimes a nice little story might inspire them better even than a very nice logical type of argument. So you need both. Some people might need more of one or the other, but all humans need both elements. So today we have um, a calligraphy workshop run by uh, Soraya Sanders. And the purpose of that workshop is uh, to offer people an insight of the, um, of the um, Arabic calligraphy. And that, in that workshop, they, they, they will learn about uh, the basics of traditional calligraphy and how, how the, um, uh, they will learn about the geometry of the forms and, um, and about the, the beauty of that, uh, of that art. Well, writing has always been very important in Islam from the very first revelation. Mm -hmm. The sight and the name of thy Lord who taught by the pen, taught man that which he knew not. So in the Quran, the use of the pen and knowledge has been sanctified right from the beginning. And so in a way it was a challenge to Muslims, well how are you going to preserve this revelation if writing and the pen is so important? And I think the centuries, over the centuries, that challenge is still there and is, is always exciting to um, calligraphers all over the world, Muslim calligraphers all over the world, because the Quran is is a revelation still revealing itself and therefore continues to inspire. The wonderful thing about Islamic calligraphy is that we have so many different styles, so many different branches, including Sini, which is Chinese Arabic calligraphy. So um, that's just the wonderful thing about Islam, that wherever it spread, the writing also took the flavor, <coughs> excuse me, of the land where it spread to. Beauty can speak to anybody, no matter who you are, where you're from, your culture, what language you speak. And it it's, has the, the immediate and powerful effect of bringing down barriers. So Islamic calligraphy is, in my opinion, one of the best tools that we have as a community to get others to understand us. It could be a great starting point. So in the exhibition hall, we've got a, so, uh, um, a Quran table where we display um, maybe 10, 12 uh, uh, translations of the Quran. And uh, we've got the Quran translated in different languages. And the purpose of that is, um, first, we've got many visitors in Edinburgh coming from the, from the festival from all, uh, all over the, the world. And uh, we may have, you know, French people, Chinese, Polish, and so people are quite, you know, uh, interested when they came in and they see all these dis different translations of the Quran and they, they find their own language. Uh, and, you know, for them it's quite, quite exciting. And also it's, uh, it's a way of showing people that, look, the Quran is only one book. Uh, it, it was revealed in, uh, in Arabic. Muslims believe that it was revealed um, to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by uh, the angel Gabriel. And uh, we, we show people that the text in Arabic hasn't been uh, altered, hasn't changed at all from, you know, uh, for 1400 years. And uh, we, we try to, you know, tell them that, you know, sometimes the, the translation is um, already an interpretation because there's nothing comparable to the Ar Arabic or to the Quran. So we, we try to explain to people, sometimes we may read uh, a translation 
and uh, they may understand it in a certain way, but we always need to refer to the Arabic text to, to really understand properly uh, a, a verse.